Look at this. It's got inland and coastal. So this must be the boundary right here between your coastal and your inland fishing license. Which I got both of them. Heck yeah. What do we got? Wow, that is a nice keeper trout, guys. That is exactly what I came out here for. Holy crap. Guys, I can't even get this hook out. Look at that keeper trout. Guys, you don't know how hard I've worked for this fish. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bleed him out and keep him. He's definitely a keeper size, but uh, awesome. Caught him on the uh, Salt Strong Alabama Leprechaun. Just bouncing it off the bottom. Just a quick update. I am still in Aurora, North Carolina. I'm by a bunch of pilings with a bunch of birds on top. And uh, I had noticed they were diving in the water for a little bait. I wasn't sure what it was. So I decided to cast and uh, I got me a nice speckled trail in the kayak. Uh, I'm going to measure him when I get back, but I definitely know he's in slot size. So, just going to kind of fish this area out a little bit. There's a whole lot of structure out here. So, uh, yep, just going to twitch, twitch, pause using the uh, Alabama Leprechaun. And hopefully we can get on a nice bite. So, uh, sorry for taking such a long hiatus status. Um, here in North Carolina, during the weekends, we've had some really bad ice storms. And uh, I have to travel almost three hours to get to the coast. So, I wasn't going to risk wrecking and, you know, risk my life to catch a couple trout. So, that's why I haven't really been active for the last two weeks. And I've been taking care of some other business around the house. So, I've been keeping myself busy. But uh, I figured I'd come out here to Aurora. North Carolina and fish some of this backwater area for some speckled trout already landed a nice it appears to be about a 20 21 incher so uh, I'm sticking around this spot where I landed it because you know if you find one fish there's normally more and really what attracted me to this spot is all these pilings right here with the uh, birds on top of them I saw them diving in the water for bait earlier and uh, I figured if there's bait in the water, you know, there's got to be fish around here. So uh, here I am. And we're using a Salt Strong Alabama Leprechaun on a quarter ounce weightless, weedless, or weighted weedless hook. Let me say that right. <laughs> and uh, I'm fishing around this wrecked boat right here. This like partially submerged and just kind of twitch, twitch, pausing it on the way back for the retrieve taking my time the water temp is very cold um, we j actually just had a massive cold snap yesterday it was almost 70 degrees today is i think 46 45 something like that so it's a pretty big drop in temperature which brought the uh, winds along with it so it's been blowing very strong from the uh, northwest all day <clears throat> so it's making kayaking a little challenging i brought my anchor this time see so uh not too too concerned it is chilly though and it's making my nose run <laughs> but uh fishing has been really challenging here in north carolina the uh weather has been very sporadic it, it's been very warm and all of a sudden it snaps to extreme cold and then it warms back up and it seems like it can't make its mind up whether it wants to be uh winter or not so i definitely think it has these trout and redfish confused like i said that wind is definitely kicking today <laughs> i'm just happy i landed one trout i mean you guys don't realize well you do because you've seen my videos how hard i've worked for to catch this speckled trout so i'm actually extremely happy right now but i'd love to get another one for sure so we caught that one nice sized trout i want to keep fishing but my hands are starting to go numb 
temperature is starting to drop. I believe it's now in the very low 40s, probably like 40, 41. So, whew, hands definitely going numb here. <laughs> um, where I loaded at's right over here. So what I might do is uh, go put the kayak back up, load everything back onto the Tahoe, dry my hands up, and go in this little pier right here, or this little dock right here and fish. I think that'll be my best bet. Whoo, cause this, uh, these hands are getting numb. It's getting kind of hard to fish, I can't feel. So anyway, so we're gonna hit up this little pier right here. Still in the same location in Aurora, actually. As a matter of fact, there's my Tahoe and everything. And uh, we're just gonna fish here a little bit. That wind is uh, pretty rough on the kayak right now. I parked on the side of the road, so I hope I don't get a ticket. But uh, I'm gonna go over to this bridge over here and try to fish it on this side because the current is actually going this way. So, uh, outgoing current. I wanna be on this side of the bridge. So, it's incoming, I would wanna be on the other side. This is always the sketchy part. All right, so we're gonna fish underneath this bridge. I'm gonna go weedless with it. And we're just gonna fish all around here. Oop, clinging on top of the bridge. <laughs> Trying to compensate for the wind and uh, yeah. The Alabama Leprechaun definitely paid off today feel like that's what uh got that trout bite going just a slow twitch twitch pause twitch twitch pause and uh that's what produced the bite so the sun's setting i'm walking back towards the tahoe and i think i'm gonna go ahead and play that fish up when i get back home and have me some speckled trout It's like 25 or 26 degrees now. It's pretty cold. I'm gonna go ahead and flay this fish up. Kind of like I would any other fish. I outline them first. Attempt to get some better lighting here. Everything is so cold. over the rib bone. Get that back fly. Don't cut into the rib cage. Fly around the rib cage. have one 
shrimp filet right here. Number two. You can see through the filet. Pretty good. Now that is a good fillet job right there. Hardly any meat left. Let's see if we can do this in the same. Trout has very fragile skin. Number two, and there you go. We're gonna rinse it all up and bag it up.